remember to be in awe of God the Artist. Hello, I'm Malcolm Cox and welcome to Quiet Time Coaching episode 60. And today we want to talk about how God is the most amazing artist and how that can help us in our spiritual walk. Without much further ado, I'm going to let you watch a video of a visit I made to an art exhibition recently and then let's reflect on what we learned from that. I've just popped into the Intu Centre to see an art exhibition that Bill Bain told me about that he's exhibiting in. And it's great to come into a place like this and see the art. Let me show you a few of my favourites from what I've seen here so far today. Yeah, I like this one. The, what's it called? Superpower. I love the energy in the picture of that elephant. There's something about the style of these that I really like. What's this one? Wind and Light from Studland and Dorset. And then down below it, Who Has Seen the Wind? And I don't know a lot about art. I'm, I'm probably going to be wrong about this, but it reminds me of impressionistic paintings. Perhaps if I'm wrong, someone can correct me. It makes me think about music I studied when I was at school. Uh, Debussy's La Mer, an impressionistic piece of music that would go well with these paintings. Now, here's one that caught my attention. What do you think of this? It's called Orange Splash by Martin Langston. I just love the, the strength of it. The simplicity. Splash. There it is. Okay, here's a different one. Yes, one. Just called One by Ken Hassler. I, I love the modern styling in the old style of frame. Bold. Arresting. Ah, now one by my friend Bill. Here we go. This is Bill's. Follow the leader. Look at the detail in that. It's incredible. Let me just go a little closer and see if we can get a good image there. Yeah. Yes, that's a lot of work. I imagine Bill's time living in Africa probably helped him with the atmosphere of that painting. Look this baby here. The reflection's not great because of the setting here, but this is called The Storm by Gendula Stevens. And it's done with something called encaustic wax. Closer, which I have no idea what encaustic wax is. If you know, do please tell. Some more by Bill here. There we go, Bill. That's my favourite of Bill's that are here today. Yeah. The ones by Bill. Yeah, I, this is the one. Don't forget to the side. Yeah. Yeah. The slow leopard. And then what we got here, flamingo as well. Let's have a look at the flamingo. Coloured pencil. Bill, you're a genius. I um, should never do this. Not in a million years. I'm not sure I had the patience, let alone the skill. Incredible. This makes me reflect on the amazing gifts that God has given us. We talked last Sunday at church about the things that amaze us. And one of the things that amazes me is walking along, looking at these paintings and thinking about the incredible gifts that they, these people have. And the fact that they're a reflection of the creative gifts of God. When we look around at, at nature, at the wonders of the world, we see that God is creative. And we should open our eyes to this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, art, this kind of skill, this kind of talent. We should also open our eyes to the creative power and majesty of God. Why not do that today? Walk around observing the creative, majestic power of God. And may that bless your quiet time, the times of quiet with God today. I've enjoyed my time here in this art gallery, and we can enjoy every day in God's great art gallery. The heavens declare the glory of God, and they do so in a glorious, beautiful, amazing, artistic way. It's not just the billions of galaxies that are impressive, it's the beauty. Can you take some time today to stop and notice the beauty that God has created? Just this morning, I was having breakfast with my friend Stefan at a local cafe, and he pulled out his phone and showed me photographs of his visit to Panama and, and the, the incredible beauty of lizards and ants and beetles and birds and all kinds of things that are just stunning. 
And they're stunning, partly because they are beautiful, but partly because we don't see them very often. That's not, perhaps people in Panama might not think they were that impressive, whereas we would, I would. But there are things all around us. If we just open our eyes, they're amazing and they're beautiful. Could you just stop for a moment today, notice something beauty, take it in, absorb it, and then give God the glory for that. I think that would be very spiritually refreshing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and thought about today. And if you have a chance, and I'd appreciate it if you could leave your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this and what helps you to appreciate God's beauty. Leave a comment anywhere you hear or see this recording. Leave it publicly so that we can learn from each other because we learn best when we learn in community. If you know someone who might benefit, then please, please pass the link on. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Leave us a review in iTunes or from wherever you get your podcasts. And until the next time, I hope that your time of quiet with God today will be a thing of beauty. Take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.